Hello and welcome to Entertainment News on AIT. I am Se Bishma. The Theatre Art Motion Pictures Practitioners Association of Nigeria, Tampan, has suspended actor Yomi Fabi indefinitely over his controversial future film Okwa Iyabo. According to a press statement released on July 9, 2021, the association found the actor guilty of a number of misconduct, including attempting to cause social crisis with the film, using the real names of the people involved and factual events without their consent, and negatively impacting the reputation of the association. The statement further revealed that while Fabi insisted that it was within his well human right to produce the film, the court director Dele Mati admitted guilt and was suspended for three months. Fabi's Okwo Iyabo sparked outrage after a scene from the film went viral on Monday, where he depicted the CCTV footage of Baba Ijesha molesting his 14-year-old victim, but depicted her as a consenting adult in a romantic relationship with the embattled actor. And Netflix has launched a first look at its new documentary centered around four-time Grand Slam champion Naomi Osaka. The self-titled documentary narrated by the tennis star will follow her life behind the scenes and what many have described as her overnight stardom following the 2018 US Open win. In the newly released trailer, the 23-year-old opens up about her pressure of dealing with the sudden attention from the press and the tennis fans. Osaka shocked fans in June when she withdrew from Wimbledon to prioritize her mental health. And finally, Nigerian singer Davido attends the candlelight service held for his late close associate Obama DMW. The candlelight service was held in Lagos on Friday, July 9, 2021, and was attended by close friends of the late music executive. Dressed in all black, Davido arrived at the venue of the candlelight service in the company of members of the Dirty Belong Gang crew. Recall Obama DMW reportedly died of suspected heart failure at a hospital in Lekki, Lagos State on Tuesday, June 29, 2021. And that's it for entertainment news today. Thanks for watching. I am Se Bishima.